Hello guys and today I am back here with Mixed Daily Training once again. Happy Friday everyone and let's go! Hey Karma, how are you doing? Hey Marco Batman. Tomorrow I have a rapid uh, tournament on TV and I played horrible trading game today and internet lost 200 puzzle rating. Marco, don't care about the puzzle rating, like just forget what happened today. Tomorrow is a completely new day, like just don't live in the past. Because like literally puzzle rating, hi judges, like literally any rating online, right? It is literally just a digital numbers which you can't even touch or do anything with them. So like just just forget about it. Just just switch up the mood on something positive before the tournament tomorrow. Forget what happened today and just play good chess tomorrow. Because literally puzzle rating is I think like the least valuable rating there is, to be completely honest. Sure it's nice, but like it doesn't give uh, no, that I mean that doesn't really mean that. Everybody sometimes has good days and uh, some sometimes you have bad days. Just until tomorrow, just relax. Try to completely switch up your mind from chess, and then tomorrow go with good mood, and then and then just crush everyone. Let's say things the best advice I can give you. Just forget of what happened today. Yeah, you're welcome. Just, just, just forget what happened, and then tomorrow wake up with a good mood, and in the mood that you are going to crush everyone and win the tournament, and then just go to the playing hall, crush everyone, come back home and relax. Yeah, tomorrow is gonna be interesting marathon day, guys. Um, yeah, as I prob oh, I'm playing against Polo Patatin. Oh, that's the guy I lost to is from Italy. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'm probably gonna start stream at about like 6, p 6 p.m. Uh, CET And then I'm planning to stream for about three four ish hours So it's gonna be fun and I'm gonna end the stream take some break maybe a dinner and then and Then continue playing without stream so It's gonna should be gonna be exciting So b3 here Anton yeah Anton played Anton Anton somewhat to be honest uh, get lucky he was minus three in the game where he won he was he had like almost dead loss position uh, but then as it's chess everybody is nervous and he's open and just blundered everything away but yeah I'm happy for Anton well let's play h3 should be okay Yeah, but he won, it was interesting, he won the first classical game and then like yesterday he lost and then today it felt like he was struggling to get in the mood. Uh, but then the luck turned to him and then he won. Because like in chess, luck is also a gigantic factor. Like, did you see Grishuk against Dinesh Var? That was crazy. Grishuk was like completely winning in the last two games. But then he blundered in time trouble, and then from completely winning, he he was lost in the first one, and he barely drew. And then in sudden death, he he just he again got completely winning position. But then he again messed up, and then he lost. So chess is also a very luck based game sometimes, especially in faster time controls. Because in classical, this one move blunders, of course, do happen. But they are much, much rarer. Thank you so, so much for the follow. The Spike Zero. Enjoy stay here and have fun. So this round definitely was quite a challenge for him, but... Fortunately, he made it through, and then his journey continues tomorrow. Let's play c5, fixing the c6 pawn. 
even though I suck it, then I was thinking like to play queen c4, and then just get c5, then my queen will block the pawn, so the bishop is bad, then maybe attack a7, it's, it look, it's, looks, it's looking interesting. Yeah, Marco, just don't be nervous, like, no pressure, just, just play chess. Why should you be nervous? Uh, queen c5. A7 hangs. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I forgot to say thanks. That's what you said. Hello. Hello, Panda. Okay, Bishop A6. Here, if Rook D1, perhaps I'll go Bishop D1. Because then Queen A7. And then both hang, I think I'm just too winning. Because sticks okay, rook t wait, rook what? Queen a seven? What am I missing? This I just take and take, take, rook d2. Did he just blunder? Maybe. Hey Darko, what's up? Happy, oh wait, happy weekend Marco, happy weekend Karma, happy weekend uh, Judges, happy weekend Panda, and happy weekend Darko. Guys, happy weekend everybody. As it's Friday, I'm gonna say happy weekend to everybody on stream who writes a message in the chat, so guys. If you want me to say happy weekend to you, weekend the best, yeah. Weekend the, tomorrow is gonna be even best. Thank you so much for the follow. NS Ozdemir TV. Happy weekend, the Spike and uh, NS. Hope you'll have a nice weekend. Tomorrow's weekend is gonna be even more interesting because tomorrow is the marathon. Looking so, so forward to it. It's gonna be very exciting to play. You're welcome. This is going to be exciting to play in. It's going to be fun. Bunch of very strong people. 24 hour 1 plus 0. Going to be exciting. 1 plus 0. That's going to be like extra, extra fun. In C4. <laughs> for me. <laughs> Hi, Anas, how you doing? Yeah, Karma. I mean, though, maybe you can try. Hi, Mego, what's up? Happy weekend. Mubot doesn't like uh, spamming, I guess. Uh, Yo, happy weekend to you. Oh, yeah, be careful with caps. Mubot doesn't like caps. <laughs> I mean, you, you learned it the hard way. Okay, here then, Rook C2, Queen D4. I'm doing great, thank you. I think I'm just a healthy piece up. Da -da 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 -da. Queen d4, protecting both the squares. I'm from Ukraine, I'm in Poland. Yeah, now I just thought queen e3, keeping it simple. I mean, I could have taken c5, but then like queen d3. Because like, I think like uh, all of the time control for marathon, like super hard to uh, get into top. Because like, 5 plus 3, that's like full of cheaters, you know? Everybody wants this globe trophy. Uh, so it's like... I'm from Turkey, nice. Many people are very are not, are not playing by themselves. 3 plus 2, pretty much the same story. 3 plus 0 is interesting, but it's still quite difficult. But I think uh, 1, 0 is the best. Should I just take c5 now and then go back to e3? Oh, queen e4 is there. Cheaters will get banned. Well, sure, 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 of course. But not not all of them, you know? There are some who m make it pass. So you can see. All right, take care, Darko. Take care. Have a nice vacation. Take care, Darko. Yeah, yeah, I will give it a try, of course. Super excited to play it. 
I think I can take and then like go queen e3. Not sure though. I think I'm not blundering anything. And then queen c2, maybe I just go like bishop d4. Oh, yeah, maybe that's a good regrouping. So my bishop now uh, protects f2 and my queen is free. So bishop here. Sure, he takes, but then I thought like uh, queen b4. Sure, the idea is if he takes a3, I just stay back and winning. Should be at least winning. Um, and as well, it's like queen c2, queen b8, queen b1, trading queens. Queen d5 just pushed the pawn. How you doing, Ayman? Okay, he takes, but takes. And let's go rook a1. Okay, bishop c5. Now I think I can regroup my bishop maybe to d6. Looks like a pretty good square. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure, it, it still is going to be a little bit tricky. I may go, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. How are you doing, I may go? Let's go rook a3, because if rook trade, I'm completely, completely winning. So this is if f6, f4, or rook e3 should be quite good. Or maybe even rook a7, bishop f8. So he goes here. Probably first let's move my bishop to f6, so it is more stable there, and then get like my rook into his camp, like rook g8, and try to win one of these two pawns. I'm excited, nervous for my classical OTB next week. Don't be nervous. Just, just, just try, to just have fun, and yeah, don't, just don't focus on the result. Just try to make your best moves, and the result will come. So just, just have fun, and yeah, don't be, don't be nervous. Just be excited about it. No need. I still don't have a stable black repertoire. I keep switching between Tamanov and Dragon. But that's actually maybe good. Yeah, just in your chest, very wise words from Karmar. That's actually good because, like, if, even though you don't have a stable, you, you like, before the game, you will, uh, you will understand more or less what you'll play, right? And then you open and has to prepare for both Dragon and Tamanov, right? So it is more pressure for your opening than on you to prepare for two quite challenging openings to prepare against. And you should have no pressure at all. As Karma said, just enjoy chess. If king g6, rook 8, I made this pony a weakness. Otherwise, I want to get rook f7. Simon, no, Koshi, I'm not doing simul, sorry. And then rook g8 is a threat. And then I'm not sure, I don't really see a way how he will protect this pawn. And that should be game. Even if it trade rooks, I'm pretty sure that's just simply over after. Yeah, sure, this is a nice try. But here... Should take... Should I play rook g8? Let's see. Much, much difference. But I think rook g8 keeping a good pawn structure is nice yeah and then here i just thought to to make absolutely sure i'm gonna check him first and then take because like rook g4 maybe there would be some stalemate patterns yeah he has to go back and king g3 it's a stalemate so gotta be gotta be gotta be careful uh but i think going here and there is pretty safe hi Jan eric happy weekend happy weekend kushil i'm sorry happy weekend Everyone, um, yeah, okay. Now let's go rook g8, rook e8, rook e7. I guess. This hi from Finland, hi from Poland, Janerik. 
Happy weekend. Hope you are doing well. Okay, I'm gonna trade rooks. Yeah, he does. Also trade them. Okay, let's go king g3, king f2. <clears throat> Here. Friday is the best day of the week, change my mind. Now I can't really change your mind to be honest, it's quite quite true. Quite quite true. Let's go king d4. Here, king e5, and then this just falls, and the other one will fall, and that's a GG. And then Polo Patatin, I'm pretty sure maybe it wasn't like the smoothest realization parties from Italy, good game, thanks. But it was pretty, pretty smooth game, and I think. I get monstrosity of position after the opening, and it was just like much better. Was C5 good? Yeah, it was good. Ish. And then, then he was game. Yeah, he just like played too slowly. This rook here. You of course want to develop your knight to f6, but it's knight of eight. It should be seven bishop of six, knight of eight. It was too too slow. Alright, I had this and that forced me to Okay. But I still think I play played pretty smooth nonetheless, right? Maybe AC was an inaccuracy, sure. AC was a mistake, but still 2 1 nil. He had to go 95, just cut his queen off. But I think it was nice that I cut his queen on h5, it just has no squares, pretty much. So 2 1 nil is quite a nice game. He played 1 nil 1. He actually somewhat played smoother than I did. And the inaccuracy was at move 65. So the only mistake computer says was move 24, but he still somehow got minus 2 position without making mistakes, which is quite, quite weird. In my opinion, Queen E5 looks tempting, but I'm not sure. Um, that's a tricky puzzle, guys. Very, very tricky. Queen e5 looks like a decent move. Knight e4, knight e2 looks like a decent move. Everything looks. But he gets like queen b4. So maybe I should do something like rook g4. So king g4, you get like queen e5, queen f5. Maybe it's actually not too terrible of an idea. <laughs> Probably is, but I'm not sure. Knight rook d4 feels quite bad, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna take. It was knight e2. And king d8 and then rook g3. Okay, tricky puzzle. Uh, yeah, not, not, nothing much else I, that I can can add to it. I think queen e5, queen b7. I thought like yeah, I should survive somehow, but yeah, I guess I I couldn't. But whatever. Okay, here it looks like it's queen c3 check. Let's see what's now. Uh, bishop d3, knight e2. This this that's winning. So this 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 king g3. Bishop. Maybe I go bishop e2 or something, king h4. Hmm. Or should I go queen d3? If queen d3, king e1, queen e3, knight e2, or rook b2, or like bishop d3. I mean, it sure looks good, but I'm not sure. Maybe I should go queen d3, rook b2. So queen e3, idea doesn't get knight e2. Uh, but then he gets like queen c1, but then I get queen g3. So queen d3, king e1, rook b2 looks winning. Uh, and queen d3, king f2, rook b2 as well. And queen d3, knight e2. Now I think it should be this. It wasn't! Was it rook b2 immediately? It's none of this. What? Can you sack the bishop? Alright, yeah. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah, when you get force mature, go for it. Yeah, bishop d2, idea, rook b2. Yeah, nice one. I, I may go. Nice one, I missed that, but I mean, I thought queen d3 should win as well, but yeah, this this went one even easier, I think. What if 
if I go queen f5 here, straight bishop f6 and then queen f5, bishop f6, queen h7, and queen f5, if he goes king g8, I go bishop f6, straight queen h7, knight f6, queen g5, game over, so queen f5, this is the threat, with rook g8, bishop f6, unstoppable, this, if king g7, rook h7, no, all this, Okay, that was simple. I was trying to find how doesn't it work, but I just didn't find uh, if any reasonable uh, ideas why it doesn't work and it ended up working well. So quite nice. Okay. Huh. This one feels like it should be over like next move, but I think it's still pretty tricky because the idea is if here, here, oops, rook c4, king a5, rook c5, king b4, queen c4, king a3, rook a5 is made, but rook c4, king a5, rook c5, king uh, instead of king b4, he gets king a4. Thank you so much for the follow of PFF123F. Just stay on the channel, have fun and happy weekend. But after king a4, I'm not too sure. Perhaps I get something. Hey, Jundi, happy weekend, thank you. Queen e4, queen b4, rook c4, that's good. Queen e4, king a3, not sure. King b3, queen c4, that's mid. But king a3, I'm not too, too sure. Rook a5, king b3. Queen a4, king c3, rook c5. I mean, if this isn't winning, I'm not sure what is, so I'm just gonna go for it. Yes, and this, uh, this what, queen c2? And then just rook g5, yeah, that worked. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, knight e4. Uh, this is the threat. And then knight d5 also is the threat in the air. Oh wait, knight e4, knight c3, rook d7, knight b5 here. And I take, yeah, this should work. Yeah, so it goes there, knight e6, knight c3. Um, 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 um. Maybe it actually works, I'm not sure. Just like saying it feels a little bit bad because of like knight b5 and knight d1 threats ideas in the air. Um, what else do I have? Just knight a4? Nah. I mean, maybe actually. Feels quite weird, but maybe. Okay, 96, 93, if that works. If I get something there, sure, I'm winning. If it doesn't, then it's not good. Hmm. And knight d6, knight c3 doesn't feel too clear. I think he gets knight d1 and then queen d6 and I probably even end up a piece down. I'm not sure. Any ideas, anyone? Really, I'm not sure. I mean, there are some interesting ideas, say, like bishop b6, but I think they aren't too, too good. Mm, 95, 93, no, but 95, 93, 97 is Swiss check. But knight c5, there is rook c5. Take, 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 take. Ugh. Really, I'm not sure I need to help, guys. <laughs> I don't see it. Uh, any 
radius. And I have some ideas, but I don't think they work. Something like bishop b6, but I think it's way too ambitious, if I'm being honest. Wait, c5? Nah. Eh! Knight c5 is interesting, but not clear. Yeah, knight c5 looks good. Let's see, knight c5, rook c5, right? Oh, I go bishop c5, queen b5, yeah, that's... I thought this... There. What was the move, even? I don't know, it was uh, crazy. Yeah, okay, I thought bishop c5 was interesting as well, but there was, like, way too many calculations involved. <laughs> um, yeah. So way too much to calculate, I think, in that position. Yeah, bishop c5 is insane. It's quite, quite weird. Um, 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 um. I don't know what here. I mean, of course, bishop d3 looks good, right? That knight d3, you get queen c but he gets queen d3, and f, e, f, e, my bishop is stuck. Not sure. Mm, 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 mm. Take, take. Oh, then I take knight e5, d, e, queen e5, knight e6, queen, yeah, that should be. Is it bishop d3? Wasn't even bishop d3. Ah. Yeah, okay, I'm also stupid at, at times. Uh, yeah, I, I am like 99% sure I had this puzzle. But f takes c takes 95. Felt good. F e queen e5. Thank you for the full enjoy stay here. Vampira bby. Enjoy stay on the channel. Have fun and happy weekend. Yeah, I'm not sure. Puzzles are crazy today. Too much calculation. Sometimes you get a 3600 rated puzzle, which is like mating two, literally, well, not not always just mating two, but like something super simple. Sometimes you get some simple ones. Hi, Chef Master. Happy weekend. How are you? I don't know. I'm going to go 94. Ah! What was even the move? It was bishop e6. Yeah, some quiet moves are annoying to find. Ah, oh, I don't know what I'm doing today in puzzles. Quite bad. Happy weekend, thank you. You too. Um. <laughs> Hold on, Queen A seven. Knight here, 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 king e2? Let's step queen e8, what else does he have? I mean, the, there it feels winning. I don't see how he really can stop mate. If knight e4, a king e2, knight g3, king d1. Finally, a correctly solved puzzle. Oh my goodness. I never thought the moment would come, guys. <laughs> okay, rook d8 feels forced. This, this. If king e3 just doesn't feel good, rook d1, king e2, queen c2, king e3, rook d3. So here, 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 here. Heaven, Peter, how are you doing? Um, Maybe it's not rook d4. Uh, maybe it's queen d4. So the idea is king e2, I get queen b2. King e3, queen d2, mate. If king e4, king e1, I get this. So this is, this, this, queen c4. If king b2, rook d2, king b1, queen c2, mate. And if king b1, I get rook d2, that should be winning as well. Okay, that was a simple one. Yeah, this was like 3300, but it felt so, so much easier. It felt like a 3100. Sometimes there are some 3100 puzzles which, which uh, make your mind explode. Uh, okay, it's either the, it's five of these ones. Okay, king g3 just feels. I don't know. I'm not particularly rooting for anyone, but maybe Anton. 
Anton Korobov would be nice. I think King G3, King H2 don't work. Okay, I'm not sure I can't really explain after King G3 just feels thrown after this King H3, like King F2 at least or something like that. I'm not sure if exactly, if this, there is King F2. Yeah, I hope I can get there at some point. Okay, and if King F3, uh, hi, Oracle Wit. You are not late again. How are you doing? If h3, there is 92, this king of 2. So it's a draw. So it is a king of 1, king g1, or king h1. King g1 looks weird. King h1, he gets king of 2. This, this, king h2, 92. Most likely it's a draw again. King 1 feels good because you should. Yeah, yeah. I, I also think it is. Is something sick, Ahmed, or what happened? Managed to remember again, yeah, yeah, nice. But do not forget, you can join the Discord Oracle with, and you will never ever forget when the stream is. <laughs> yeah, King of One feels correct. G3, King of Three, that's a draw. So maybe I go King of Two, G3, King G1. Nice plot, thank you, thank you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um uh I don't know to be honest. King F2 feels good because like okay G3 King F3 this Knight G2 this 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 let's say draw if G2 Knight H3 is there. So G3 doesn't feel correct. H3 yeah but knight h5 h2 knight g3 here this king h3 knight h1 just a draw mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here g3 doesn't work king f2 king f4 h2 that's a draw so i think it's king f2 and now h3 and h2 and h1 okay that was a nice one uh oh uh oh guys I think I had this puzzle, it was quite weird. So, okay, bishop d3 feels forced, right? If king e1, there is bishop c3, king d1, forced, rook b1, mate. So, bishop d3, king g1, here, if he has either king h2 or king f2, if king f2, I think I should get rook f1, king g3, rook f7, d7, rook f8, knight g6, I get bishop g6. Or should I go bishop e5 after king g3? The idea is if king g4 or king h3, I get bishop f5, knight f5, rook d7. And otherwise, I just take d7, I should be winning. So bishop e5, yeah, that's only two squares for him. So it works. So bishop d3, king g1, rook b1, king h2. It's this for sure, I remember. Now maybe it's actually bishop e5 first. Don't you remember? Doesn't work. In mind, it might be invalid. Wait, really? Uh, hold on. Let me check. Got <laughs> type analysis. Yeah, it's quite deep. Except in white. I got accept in white, and then I'm joining Discord. I'm not sure. I got accept in white, and I accepted it. Weird. But if my memory doesn't change me, I feel like G3, he gets something like knight G6, and this doesn't work. So I think it's bishop E5. It's rook B1, actually. Oh, here I was thinking, right. And here I go bishop e2 or something, or h5. Yeah, but this is a ridiculous puzzle. Very difficult one. Okay. So rook d7, if queen d7, I get queen e8, I win an extra piece, I'm winning. If rook d7, king d7, uh, queen f7, bishop e7, there, yeah, this attack feels quite strong, like bishop b5, rook d1, queen e6. So, for example, rook d7, king d7, queen f7, bishop e7, bishop b5, a, b. Rook d1, king c7, I get queen e7, I'm winning. If king c6, queen e6, he's forced to go back, I get rook d7, I'm winning. If king c8, queen e6, king b8. And I'm not so sure they are. Queen e5, but queen c7, queen b5. It looks like it's a draw. Hi, Tablachik, how are you doing? Happy weekend. And happy weekend, L6D. And happy weekend, hey, Ahmed. Ahmed. Hey, I'm Ahmed, I'm sorry. Happy weekend, everyone. Hope you're doing fantastic today. Um, hmm. Take, 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 bishop e7. After bishop, bishop e7, I may go like bishop c4 or something. 
So we're just gonna kindy seven that's forced. Okay, thanks. That's nice to blood check. If king d8. I'm not sure about this takes takes queen of seven king d8. I'm not really sure how do I continue an attack. Sure, I get something like this, but it feels like he should do something. It should be quite okay. Though maybe he's not because he get like yeah, I'll go for it. It wasn't takes. What? What was bishop g2 first? That's deep. Yeah, puzzles are crazy today. Gosh, minus 50 rating points. I just was happy that I hit 3800 yesterday and I'm at 3750. Uh, okay, let's see. Bishop c3. King e6, king e5, king e4. I think I should just get gf, I'm winning. So that leaves after this, it leaves him king d5 and king d6. A gf, king c5, f5, king d5. Here, here. King g this this terms like this bishop c seven that should be winning king d six king c five king g seven king d five f five I prevent his king from going c five king g six c six bishop a five king e five bishop seven king d five king f six uh king d four king d six and slowly I, I think I shoulder him away and that should be winning so does this just simply win? Shut of the Discord issue, my account needed to re-verify. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Alright, but welcome to the welcome to the Discord channel. Uh not channel, Discord server. Oracle Invit, hope you'll have a nice day there. Uh but Bishop C3, GF. Sorry, no 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 worries, it's okay. Bishop C3, King D6, GF, King C5, this is forced to go King D5, King G7, that C5, King G6, C6, Bishop A5, that feels winning. What's the difference between this and that? Ah, it goes here. This is just swinging. Uh, 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 let's go one, let's try one more. So I won't tilt and I'll just solve this one correctly. And we land on the good note. Okay, F5, hello? Fg set rook F2. F5, he's forced to go G5, F4, Knight F3. Queen h3, f e. I mean, that looks terrifying. Or is it just me? That I wouldn't really. Wait, but f5, g5, f4, knight f3, f e. My threat is rook f3, queen f3, knight d2. It's a fork, and then I win f3. And this, 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 this. If Even if he goes king g2, I get queen g4. Yes, so he goes king g2 immediately. Uh, and now, should I just take rook f1, take, take, rook b8, rook f8? Nice, okay, that was a nice end. So yeah, I had a terrible middle session. Middle of the session I failed three in a row, that was quite terrible. Hi Zalma, happy weekend, how are you doing? But then three in a row, two failed in a row, and then two correct in a row. Was a nice, nice finish to the session. Let's play blindfold. Uh, leeches, DT, we, boom. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not sure why this Sure, this article, it's very important that uh, Juven Juve became a world champion, but it's already for like two weeks. I think it would be nice if some other articles would appear in, ex in, instead of this one, but I'm not sure. Thanks, Diego. Regan the champ, will you play? Yes, I will. How are you doing, Regan? Happy weekend. I will. Why do you go for Benoni? You literally get worse positions, Sophie. Why? Okay, at least with this I'm quite happy. I don't mind playing this position. Yeah, g3, bishop g2, and h3 should be quite fine. Should be g2. Yeah, and I'm planning to stream at about 6 p.m. CET. That is 12 a.m. EST, I'm pretty sure. So, but guys, once again, don't forget to join the Discord. Because I'm gonna keep you guys informed on when I'll stream the marathon. No, not the whole one. I'm not insane to play from two till to two, but I'm planning to wake up and start playing. 
Because, like, that's actually, I think, an important thing, that you get enough rest before starting to, to play in it, so that you get enough time, enough, and you'll be fresh until the end of it. Because, like, co op playing 2 to 2, it's like they are already after 10 hours, they are tired, and then the ones who took a break or something, they will catch up. Have you played with any leeches bots? I mean, what do you mean, Amigo? What do you mean, bots? You mean, like, stockfish? Or, what do you mean I say bot? What is your definition of bot? Is there b leeches bots? Ah, bots! No, the bots? No, not, no, 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 no. I haven't. I haven't played bots like in general. If I'm... I mean, I played once Lila, I crushed her in three moves. And then after that I understood that bots are too simple for me. <coughs> and, <laughs> yeah, now I'm just playing selfish. Because computer is better than bots. Karma, do you remember my legendary win against Lila in three moves? Oh no. Or did you for forget already? That was legendary. All for Z No, I think it was Lila. Against Lila, yeah, yeah. It was a legendary win. Hold on. Takes queen e7, I win a piece, so he's forced to take there. Uh, c5, if d6, I go queen d7, bishop hangs, so bishop d7, bishop b7, I'm fine. So takes, takes, c5. If bishop d2, I thought cd, and if bishop one I go de, and if queen d2, I go ed, and then queen d8, and then I go rook d8, bishop f8, king of one, I'm winning. So knight d7, rook e7, c5, this, this, and if rook e6, king g2, rook d6, queen d6, ba -ba 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 takes, 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 it should be okay. Yeah, she logged out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool, but yeah, I like stockfish. It feels more interesting, at least to me. Yeah, she did, she like, she logged out in such a weird way. She like, started a game against me, and then at the same time she, or like, she started a game against somebody, okay, I missed d5. Uh, she started a game against somebody else, and then, like, at the same time, she started a game against me. And then she was focused on playing the game against somebody else. And if she, against me, she made three moves, and then she just flagged out. So, that was my best win in my chess career yet. Queen e7, isn't this a free pawn? Aha, uh -huh, rook e6, rook a6. Idea to trap my queen. Yeah, that's quite funny, it is, yeah. I remember I was very, very happy of that victory because Lila was like so hyped uh, so hyped about around before uh, not before at that time when I played her I think I, I did instead of playing against life opening like at the exact daily training I played like two games against Lila so it was fun um, but yeah it was fun and she was like all this Lila Alpha Zero they were like at their peak of popularity and then yeah I played her and that was fun that I managed to beat her in three moves like very easily and I remember this victory forever probably how to beat the strongest engine in three moves make it rage quit <laughs> Make it too afraid of you. Yeah, okay. If jobs aside in this position, I'm relatively sure you'll get like rook b6, rook b8, and I'm, yeah, or rook b8, and I think I'm gonna get a worse position. I'll try my best. Yeah, rook b6. Doesn't look too, too great. Let's go here though. Like a4, queen b3 or something. Yeah, I'm worse. I think I was better, but then I didn't use the advantage. I'm pretty sure and then I was equalish, and then I didn't use the equality. And now I'm about lost, I think. Well, I'll try. Yeah, that's a nice move, preventing any any activeness from me on the for, on the C file. I'll try to make him take a four, then get like bishop d4, uh, queen c7 takes bishop e3. I'll sack an exchange takes 
Okay, I'll try. Looks bad, but I'll try. Oh, he sucks in exchange. That's nasty. Okay, let's take bishop c3. Yeah, and then I'm lost. He gets c2. That's a very, very nice exchange sack from Stockfishio. Let's go e6. And yeah, he promotes. And the problem is I can't even get the d4 pawn. Yeah, I'm just probably getting mated. Okay, king g2, rook b2, king h3, queen f1. Hold the dawn, queen d6 check. Uh -huh. eh, 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 eh. Okay, now I gotta calculate. Did you blunder or um, am I just crazy? Probably I'm just crazy because there may be some perpetual. Just unlikely. Take care. Take care, Mego. Alright, take care, take care, take care. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay, I think check should merit. At least should try, I think. Yeah, now he takes. I don't know why he didn't take F7 immediately. What's he trying to do? Yeah, okay, King G7, no? Yeah. I mean, check from here is needed as I squint this on King H8. And yeah, I think he hides here, unfortunately. Queen B8, Queen G1, King H3, Queen there. Queen F1, King H4. Uh, where is mate? I'll try that. So queen b8. Ah, he just gets the rook. Okay, if this queen d3 here, 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 that's a perpetual. But this queen of two, king g4, queen e2, king h3. Queen d3, and we get the same position as after king h3, queen d3, I think, right? Mm, here, 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 and if king h4 get mated, so I have to go there. Queen of 1, yeah, I think I'll just go h3. Oh, wait, no, don't remove king h4. Check, he'll go king h5, I suppose. Uh huh. And g4, king g5, I think he escapes, yeah? think so. Ugh, that was an interesting game. Yeah, I guess I should try g4 because otherwise he just meets me. This... Oh, my queen is on f8. Uh -huh. It's a very stupid question, OPG. Yeah, he just escapes. Let's go queen e7. Check. I mean, just maybe I have perpetual. Just maybe. Oh no. Should I check from here? Then he gets king d5. Here. Here. Is this a perpetual or what? Yeah, queen a8. Thank you so, so much for the following. Just stay here in a fun cyan. And happy weekend. I should have perpetual, it feels like. But I'm not sure, because queen e5 he gets king, king f4 and he escapes.
Okay, queen b8. Queen B4 and Queen D6. Wait, I didn't have a pawn on A3. I what? I had a pawn on A4. <laughs> okay, and let's see if so crystal seven. I thought I had a pawn on A3. Yeah, I'm I'm really not sure if I had this stalemate or not. Uh, stalemate, repetition. No, I didn't. Fortunately, yeah, even Stockfish isn't sure. It says it's a draw, but then he goes deeper and it says that it was. Wait, I was winning? Oh, 9b5, I'm just. Whoa! 9b5, if castles, I just get like 93, I'm much better. And if d5, I just take, and I'm much better as well. And then. Yeah, okay, c5 was a mistake, I should have just taken, play d4, I have much more space and I'm better. Yeah, c5, I missed d5. Just take and then e4. And this, and for him, queen c2. Play level 8, nah -uh. If I get destroyed by level 7, level 8 will just crush me. Uh, so no, I'm not gonna play level 8. Let's go for Italian. D3 Um I go A4 Maybe <laughs> G2 I'm not sure if he gets an g4 because I think in some line. Oh, does he, does it actually work for him? Is he gonna take? No, he castles, and now he's just gonna go knight f2. Knight f2. Oh gosh, h5. <laughs> h5 is terrifying. Okay, let's just play queen e2, I guess. I right, now he goes back. Then let's get b4. Maybe it was just a bluff from him. Okay, bishop b2. Now though he just got a weakness on h5. So that if yeah, if he gets nothing, then it just will be nice that he voluntarily Hi Marco, how are you doing? Hi again. It will be nice if he voluntarily created a weakness for himself. Uh, let's go ninety four maybe actually. The idea is just to simplify, get open D file, and try to win. Yes, this I thought I'll take. Oh, I missed F five, but then Queen D five. I mean, okay, Rook B eight feels like it's a very weird move. Okay, C five just cutting on this A seven bishop, completely. Takes takes. Also, good thing that he can go b6 because the knight just hangs. Yeah, this check. Okay. Let's go rookie one if e4, knight d4. Mm, queen c4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this knight e5, I thought like we need to maybe attack the h5 pawn. Hope he'll take. Oh, he goes queen f7. Wow, but no, he just killed him pretty much himself. Uh, because now, unless I am miscalculating terribly, I just take c6 
and I take d1 and then I get rook d8 with check and then rook a8 and then this bishop which was stuck is just stuck yeah, rook d8, king h7 maybe, just maybe instead of rushing with rook a8 because there he gets like rook d7, this, rook d2 and then my bishop I'm pretty sure is stuck maybe I should just go like bishop c1 because I'm pretty sure his bishop is going to be stuck there forever but just so that I don't trap my own bishop and now maybe even bishop f4 shouldn't hurt I think and then rook a8 finally yes so I have opponent c3 so rook a8 and then yeah he just pretty much trapped him, his, his own bishop and then I don't know why he offered this queen trade just pretty much saying just take my free bishop and then now I am I even have a super super strong passer and then I block all his pawns with my bishop and my other pawns and that is just game over I'm pretty sure uh, I played h3 just to make sure let's play a7 then bishop e3 rook b8 that is game over king h2 rook a1 bishop e3 rook b8 a8 if f4 I'll take then come back bishop e3 it's also completely completely win okay rook b8 a8 threat if f4 I'll just play a8 and ignore his threat If this I just promote a8 um let's see what he'll do okay he goes here I'll go there I'll even just sacrifice my bishop um yeah now I'll take here and then rook d5 and then push the pawn okay let's take this pawn if he if he insists let's take it rook f5 king h3 pre-move is safe then let's go king h4 king g5 king f4 and then just push the g pawn to the queen on primos, queen g6, rook f7, queen g8 and that should be mate and wait, no other name, stop yourself, 6 good game, yeah that was pretty nice I think he just pretty much uh, jailed his own bishop, he just trapped it and couldn't get out at all for the whole for the ent entirety of the game uh, and then I won Okay, I was winning after rook b8, I had to go rook fd1, queen e7, b5. So that bishop be a3 and I'm completely winning. Then queen c4 lost the advantage, but yeah, queen f7 was a blunder. He had to take c6, free up his bishop and it would be equal. So 5 for for me. Oh, and this gift gifted a tier 1 after oracle and wait, thank you so much for this gifter. So 5 for for me and 1, 1, 2 for stockfish. I go for rook fd1, then after queen e7 I get b5, bishop a3, it's game over. And for him, it just go back knight f6, I think knight e4, and then takes, and then c6. Okay, pretty nice. Now let's analyze the game's life opponent. And it's Polo Patatin. Uh, two one nil for me and one nil one for him. So I developed pretty well. Mm, I got a much better position. He wastes too many tempis. Usually, oh gosh, oopsie. Okay, hold on a second, guys. The lamp is falling. Um, okay. I don't know how it's unstable. Okay, it's stable now. Um, so yeah, rook e8. Yeah, usually here, what I was saying is that black placed here, white removes the bishop, black gets c5, b6, bishop b7, and it's fine. But he played rook e7, and then he made a weird one for bishop b7, bishop f6. I got a lot of tempos, the knight f8. This, okay, here I'd go for knight e5. Thank you so much for the follow and just see here super gm 3000 on the channel have fun and happy weekend yeah 95 and it would be much much better i played a3 which was a good move nonetheless this then i got queen e4 then 95 t1's up yeah and then i played a very nice move which i really loved so precious through d6 is the best line but i didn't really want to make his bishop active so i decided to play c5 this and queen c4 uh, this line is really easy to play for white and difficult with black. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I remember like six years ago I was playing the same with black. It felt like you play so simply, right? But it is like so ridiculously hard. Like white never is in this position. And pretty much, yeah, I got this c5. Uh, I got my pawn back, which I sacrificed. And then rook d5 was a huge blunder from him. He had to go for rook d1. I would be much better, but still, some chance for him because after rook d5, he blunt queen a7 and then rook d5, queen e6, I just win this mm, bishop on a6 and then I transformed into rook and bishop, rook, bishop and four pawns versus rook and four pawns endgame and then quite quite safely I um, went on to win and I won the game, Polo Patatin good games, good game I mean 
uh, 95 and for him it was rook d1 yeah he just blundered queen e7 it was a nice trap which i set up because like rook e5 somewhat felt, felt logical but be careful guys with your weaknesses because sometimes yeah yeah but he really misplayed it it's i think black gets quite a good position nonetheless after uh after knight of six c5 b6 i don't think they they really have troubles as well. Mm. Oh wait, uh, let me make the board smaller. I was recording the video, I have to make it bigger. Uh, let's make it stop for smaller. Okay, yeah. Let's check with reference. I don't love this line as white, it's just like super super safe, no risks, and then if black doesn't know how to play, they just lose on the spot, or get much much worse position. This, this, knight pt7, uh -huh. e4, takes, takes, there is a nice, nice, nice also trap, which I think many people fall into, let's see. Yes, 367 people fall into a trap that e5 is a mistake, because now white just takes, and then takes, takes, okay, it doesn't matter if you take with the knight or with the bishop, but like, okay, I, I prefer the knight, it's more forcing, takes, takes, and bishop h7, and then white just ends up a pawn up, and a better king position, they just better. I don't know how that, that many people fall for it, it's actually, it looks like a playable line, maybe a black just like sacrificed this pawn, with the idea of like getting a good opposite color bishop drone endgame. Hmm. Yeah, I would say it's very questionable. I mean, sure, it's maybe actually not a bad line as black, as they... As they most likely just simplify, quite simply. Uh, but still, it's much more comfortable to play as white. But okay. Uh, yeah, he played h6, b3, uh, this was an inaccuracy, I would say. Yeah, I would recommend just play knight f6, and then after bishop c2, go c5, bishop b2, b6, with, with bishop b7, the next, on the next move, with equality. White doesn't get anything huge. Uh, but okay, he played rook 8, bishop b2, bishop b7, that was already, an, again, step in the wrong direction. Once again, he had to go for knight f6, bishop c2, c5, uh, takes, takes, um, Queen e2 would be slightly better, but yeah, that still would be quite okay for him. Because bishop c2, now bishop f6, another step in the wrong direction. Once again, he had to go for c5. And like, takes, takes. I would already be better. Thank you so, so much for the follow. Enjoy, stay here on the channel, and have fun. Grandpa Lufa. Okay, I'm already better here, but yeah, I think... He again went a bad move. Uh, knight of h was a mistake here. Go for c5, at least try something. cd, this, this, bishop d4, here, here. Again, would be better, but okay. I'm just like almost winning after knight of h. Knight e5 would be, would be a nice move, just not allowing anything pretty much for him. Here, that was a small mistake for me. I had to go for knight e5. And then takes, takes, this, this. Bishop here, CB, I'm just better almost to win, and I'm pretty sure, yeah. He just has no moves. The rook are stuck, the knight, uh, the rooks are stuck, the knight is stuck, the bishop is bad. And if he goes queen a2, uh, I think, yeah, he just, I get rook a1, nice move. And after queen b2, bishop h7 takes queen b2, I'm just winning. So, okay, AC was a mistake, but still, I got a better position nonetheless, because he has no space. C5, this, this, and then rook d5 was a blunder from him. So b3 isn't considered better. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is, but b3, I like to play that sometimes. Yeah, bishop c2, uh, because knight f6 is in this tempo there. Yeah, it is with better chances. And yeah, rook d5 was a blunder from him. He had to go for rook d1, uh, take, and then, yeah, just... No, well, I wouldn't take with bishop, I would take with rook. Oh, no, actually, taking with the bishop is much better. Um, yeah, he just had to settle down for this much worse, well, not much worse, uh, worse and much, much more unpleasant endgame. He has these weaknesses, so it's like very hard. Then I take the pawn and much better, but okay. It still would be better than in the game, because in the game I just got queen e7, rook d5, I won a bishop. And then, yeah, maybe I could have won it easier, but 
I decide to make play it safe, and then yeah, I get into rook, bishop and four pawns, and game versus rook and four pawns, and slowly but surely I'm going to win. Another name, Paul Patatin. Good game, he's from Italy. Yeah, that was pretty nice, I'm quite happy with how I've played this game. Uh, my games on Lichas and Lichas games with analysis. It's already 316, and that's how best I'm gonna end the stream. By the way, uh, the yesterday's open and got banned, uh, the first one, and I got rating refund. Thanks, Lichas. I got banned right after the stream, so I'm quite happy. SMK Black Winner. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna end the stream. Great game against Life Open and quite good games against Stockfish. I was better against level 7, I wasn't, and it was much better, but then I messed up in the end, and I was better against level 6, pretty much for the whole game, so I am quite, quite happy, I just wanted to see if I would have the pawn on a3, would that make any, any difference at all, um, board editor, what if I would have the pawn here? Now it's a draw actually, guys! Yeah, so when I thought it was a draw, it was actually a draw, yeah. Because the idea is that I get queen before, and if queen c5 I check him, and then he doesn't get king a4, and here I just check him. Yeah, so if, if, if I wouldn't forget, yeah, this is a draw, that's funny. Okay, a nice puzzle, the decent puzzle to all the mellow 30 rating points, but it doesn't matter, and yeah. Marco, take care. Just don't be nervous before, yes, uh, before tomorrow, please. Just know that you have the strength to crush everyone. So yeah, I'm gonna end the stream, everybody. Happy weekend once again. Don't forget to join the Discord. I'm planning to stream Marathon tomorrow. So I'm, I'm still not sure at what time, but I'm gonna let you know in Discord, guys. So join it uh, for future updates. Um, and yeah, everybody, take care. Happy weekend. Bye to Blechik, bye Marco Batman, bye Karma, bye PFF, one to CF, bye, oh, bye, bye, I'm Ego, Diego, or oh, Iman. Take care and happy weekend. Really enjoy the stream. Thank you, PF. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, by Oracle and Wit. Thanks, Animus Gift and Forgiveness. And tier one's up to Oracle and Wit. By Regan the Champ. By Mego. By Darko. By uh, Zalmai. By uh, uh, Chef Master. By Vimpa, uh, Vampira BBY. By Johnny D. By Kushilag. By uh, Yanerik 16. By NS Ozdemir TV. And everybody who was here, I hope you'll have a great weekend and I'll see you tomorrow in Marathon. Take care, everybody, and bye bye.